Also tonight we are talking with a young man who went into action after a close friend of his died by suicide several years ago. Since then, he has helped raise tens of thousands of dollars for mental health organizations in Western New York. And May, of course, is Mental Health Awareness Month, and we have been discussing it an awful lot in recent days. You can find several resources on WGRZ.com right now to reach out if you are struggling. And Nick Revelis joins us now. Uh, and Nick, let me ask you, well, what was it that got you interested in this in the first place? Yeah, so uh, we started this event a few years ago just as a small three-on-three -three neighborhood tournament to try to have some fun and raise money for some good causes. Uh, in December 2017, I lost a close friend, Devin Waring, to suicide. And so we were lucky enough to have this platform to raise money and awareness for mental health. And since his passing, we've raised over $75,000 for charities across Buffalo. Tell me about this event now and uh, how much you expect you're going to be able to raise. Yeah, so this year we're attempting to break the world record for the longest basketball game. Uh, it's going to be taking place August 6th to the 11th, and it's going to be held at Narden Academy's brand new athletic facility. I mean, there's a lot of popularity and hype that comes with breaking world record, and I easily think that we should be able to pass that $50,000 number. That's currently our goal. Nick, let me ask you, how difficult has it been for kids in their late teens and early 20s your age? Uh, Scott, it's been a very difficult time this past year. I mean, a lot of us have struggled in this new virtual format, and especially with our mental health. We're being asked to be socially distant, but it's important to try to be emotionally together. And so it's important in this Mental Health Awareness Month for people to know that are struggling. There are resources out there, and there's a lot of good uh, there's a lot of exciting stuff happening this summer, including the world record event. And I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about your friend, Devin. Tell us a little bit about Devin. Yeah, I mean, Devin was a great kid. He had, he had the world in front of him. He really had shown no signs or any struggle of mental health. So it really shocked our entire community when that happened in December 2017. And I was fortunate to have a great group of friends and family around me to help me get through that time. And luckily, we've been able to turn his passing into something to try to inspire change for so many others that are struggling currently right now. And let me ask you, how many people do you expect to turn out for this? And if people do want to volunteer for this, what should they do? Anyone that wants to get involved, you can go to www.fb21.org. If you want to sign up and play, if you want to find out more about our cause or donate to this, obviously, this very important issue, uh, that's where you can go. Nick, thank you so much for your time tonight. We wish you the best of luck, and we'll continue to cover this story for you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.